Yeah, so is, is Greenleaf uh, coming back into uh, Syngenta on paper 12 months ago. More practically speaking, it's been a work in progress through the last 12 months. Uh, the, the motivation behind it really was is uh, as Greenleaf, we were at the point in our company's life, if you will, or the, the life cycle of the business, where it made a lot of sense to, uh, to be fully aligned with Syngenta due to their trade portfolio. They have a fantastic uh, uh, availability of insect traits and herbicide traits that now as Greenleaf, fully part of Syngenta, we're able to move much more quickly than we were operating either with our own resources or as a joint venture of a competitor to Syngenta. Uh, there was always a, a, a little bit of, of tension uh, that this just happens naturally in that situation. So coming back into Syngenta has allowed us to move very quickly. Uh, we've been working hard uh, for the last 12 months on the integration and, uh, and are quite quite well along with that. Yeah, so the, the Greenleaf Syngenta relationship uh, is one that today is, is virtually seamless. Uh, legally, Greenleaf Genetics still exists as an LLC for, for tax reasons and, and uh, legal reasons and, and whatnot, but practically speaking, uh, we're one in the same organization. Our staff are now Syngenta employees as opposed to Greenleaf employees. Uh, we work very closely with product development, uh, with finance, with operations, with communications, with all these uh, different functions within Syngenta that now directly support the Greenleaf business. Yeah, so thinking about Syngenta's integrated crop strategy and, and one Syngenta approach to the market, uh, as Greenleaf we operate in a, in a bit of a different uh, market channel and segment where we uh, license our products and sell our seed products to independent seed companies. Uh, those seed companies then sell the products to farmers and Syngenta's solutions approach really kicks in at the farm level so that, that we can develop solutions for the farmer around his chemistry and his seed care products and, and uh, his genetics. And so what we will be doing with the seed company is actually to find solutions that we can partner with them on taking to the farmer. Not around the seed company, but actually with the seed company. And then as well as thinking about those same ideas around uh, their own seed production. Are there ways that we can, can better integrate our understanding of uh, plant performance products or seed care products or genetics or traits and how those interact so that the seed company can get a higher quality, better yielding seed crop. So as Greenleaf, uh, it's very important that we deliver to our customers not only actual products and traits, but also an understanding of what's coming in the pipeline because many of our customers, uh, their own product development process or cycle may be two, three, four years long by the time they first see a trait or they first see a, a new genetic product. Uh, many of them want to test it in their own system. So, so in addition to staying on the cutting edge of what we're offering, we try to help our customers understand what's coming. So this week uh, we've announced AgriSure Duracade as a new rootworm product that customers uh, will be able to access at what point it, it receives full regulatory approval, assuming that the product stays on track technically. Uh, then, then that product would be available to the independent seed company. And so the reason uh, prior to the product being available in the marketplace that we've announced that is, is so that they can start to educate themselves, so they can start to learn the technical attributes of the product. It gives them a chance to uh, uh, see it uh, in the field under varying levels of corn rootworm pressure, for example, to develop an understanding uh, of that product, to understand uh, those attributes that, that, uh, that it might have or not have, whichever the case might be. And then uh, the other thing that we do is to, is to help them understand uh, what, what might be coming. All right, so AgriSure Duracade has been announced as an actual technology, uh, but, but we also help try to paint a picture, if you will, uh, of other technologies that are in the pipeline. Perhaps we can't yet talk about them publicly in detail, but at least help them anticipate how to position their own companies to anticipate what's coming. So today for, for an independent seed company, it's so important that they determine how they can differentiate their own business, uh, how they can be uh, unique to the farmer, and how they can deliver. It, it might be a product, it might be a service, it might be the way they package the product, but something that, that is uh, really something that they can own. 
uh, in addition to their brand, but something that makes them uh, unique. And uh, unique doesn't necessarily mean that they have to do it better, but they have to do it different. And, uh, and I think sometimes seed companies try to, they, they make the mistake of trying to appeal to everyone. And, uh, and that's, tip, that's not possible for a huge organization, let alone uh, a company that's trying to compete uh, perhaps within a part of a state or across a couple of states. They really have to decide what type of farmer, uh, what demographic, what, uh, if there's other characteristics about the farmer that they can best support and then go after that. Uh, so licensing agreements. Well, it's almost certain they're going to get longer. Uh, but uh, in all seriousness, uh, a good friend of mine once told me that, that good fences make good neighbors. And, and what he meant by that was, if you have a really good agreement, then it provides a clear understanding of what's expected on the part of both parties. And when you have that, then you both understand how many resources you can invest, you understand how aggressive to be, and you understand what reward you can count on at the end. Uh, we very much understand that an agreement has to provide a reward to the customer so that we can both win. Uh, we have to be able to win a little and the customer has to be able to win a little with regards to, uh, to creating profit and, and developing the business. And so as agreements, uh, the reason I say they're going to get longer is uh, the technologies are getting more complicated. Many of the products we sell today uh, contain multiple traits. Uh, we're working on ag agrostar artesian as an example uh, that, uh, that has multiple alleles. Uh, we're working on other stacked products. And with those uh, come changing requirements, uh, especially from a quality assurance standpoint. So we always make sure that the products, uh, we call it E&E &E testing, but basically that the trait uh, is turned on functioning with good efficacy and that the products are equivalent in yield in the absence of whatever pests that that, that trait's trying to control. And uh, as a result, it just takes some paper to explain that and to have a good agreement. As to access to plant genetics, uh, within our own portfolio at least, I think that the customer will continue to see an increase in diversity of genetics. Um, as Syngenta, the coming together and the acquisition a few years ago of the Garst and the Golden Harvest research programs, as well as the CHS research program, combined with what Syngenta already had with the, with the former NK program, um, it takes time to develop those new products. And I was recently looking at, uh, at, at some portfolio development information, and that diversity and new combinations within inbreds are just now making it to the market. If you think about it, those acquisitions were about six or seven years ago, and uh, here we are today, they're now coming to the market. Then as Greenleaf, we also work with other breeders and other genetic sources that we put into that mix as well. And so as our business develops, and as we continue our open architecture approach, which what that means is, is really allowing the company to select from our portfolio of genetics as opposed to pre-designing hybrids. Uh, certainly we'll recommend hybrids that we know have good performance, but we also give the company the ability to identify unique genetics that they can differentiate with. So I, I think it's going to become uh, uh, more diverse and, and actually more available to the independent company. So you think about what will be available to independents and, uh, and what I could imagine most of our customers imagine as a huge temptation for Syngenta, let's keep the best stuff for the retail brands. Uh, these independent guys, they, they won't really notice if we just start slipping them the seconds, maybe the thirds, maybe the fourths, all right, however you want to do it. Uh, that's not how we got to be where we are, all right. Uh, in our business today, uh, we've been very, very fortunate that our customers ha have rewarded us with nice sales growth and, and the business has developed very quickly. But that only happened because we were bringing forth the very best genetics that we could find, the very best genetics that Syngenta could develop, as well as the work that we had done as the joint venture with Pioneer and, and as well as these other genetic providers. And I truly believe and, and uh, have uh, within Syngenta a very strong support that for us to have continued growth we have to be able to bring forth the best genetics. So our uh, product development people, our uh, genetic sales leads, um, the uh, breeders that support us uh, have a stage at the product advancement table. And uh, when you think about Greenleaf and, and as a very fast growing business within Syngenta, it, it brings forth a, a term that we use sometimes and that's brand agnostic. All right, so it's about 
getting Syngenta's genetics and products and traits onto the farmer's acre. If that comes in, in one of the retail brands, great. If that comes uh, through Greenleaf, through one of the independent seed company brands, great. The farmer is still getting to experience the product. Uh, they're getting to uh, experience the best that we can offer.